I'm George Flynn and you're watching In-Depth TV and I trust that you're doing well today or this evening or whenever you're watching because that's got everything to do with what we're going to talk about. Trust. I trust that you're doing well, I said. Well, when it comes to trust, who can you trust? Who can you trust? Who is worthy of your trust? Is it the news? You know, we hear all about fake news. Is it the television? Is it radio? Is it the newspaper? Is it magazines? Is it word of mouth? Is it rumors? Is it innuendos? Is what in the world? And with all of the technology now and the Photoshop and the voice changers and the voice mimickers, you don't know what's real. Seeing is no longer believing because of the digital age. We're able to make things that aren't really there. CGI, you know, the, the movies, it looks, they look real. All of this stuff looks real. But sometimes in your instinct, in your, as we say, gut reaction, you know better. So let's talk about trust. And specifically, we'll go into trusting other people. Trusting people out there that are either trying to sell you something or get you to buy into a movement or anything. What are they trying to do? What is their reason? Why are they doing what they're doing? Well, trusting, there, there's some characteristics that you want to look for in people that are appealing to you. They're appealing to your sensibilities to say, trust me, I'm here to help you. And then, you, that, that to me, you know, a few little alarm bells go off when they say that. But what are some of the characteristics we look for? Well, the people that come forth with ideas for you, they usually, if you want to trust them, see what they do about their own errors. Do they recognize their own errors? Or who do they blame for their lack of being able to accomplish whatever they said they were going to do. You know, I'm reminded of a story that I heard years ago about a student in, say, high school. And they'll, they'll come out of a class and a test and they say, I made an A. I made an A. But if they don't do well, they say, she gave me or he gave me an F. Now, they made the A, but somebody gave them the F. So they're blaming someone else for their failure. They're taking all the benefits and the accolades of their success. And you say, well, that's human nature. It may be, but we're looking for people that you can trust. And we're looking for people who own up to their shortcomings for people that admit to themselves and to you, hey, I meant to do this, but this happened, and this is the reason why, or just I didn't put in enough effort, I didn't do this, I'd, whatever the reasoning was, they can come up with a reason, but still, they don't blame the reason. They just might tell you why they didn't succeed. There's a big difference in blaming someone else, or some other circumstance, versus taking responsibility for their own failures, their own errors. So that's one, one thing you look for. And if you can't, if they can't come up with the reason for their own errors, can they trust themselves? 
Because if they cannot trust themselves, how can you trust them? And you see so many people out there trying to tell you something or sell you something, and they can't even trust themselves. They, they say, well, I can't trust my memory. Well, I, I, I need to look it up in the product book. Or I need to do something, but they don't trust their own reactions. So if they don't trust those, how do you trust them? Not that you can't, but it makes it a little more difficult. Now there's another type person out there that's what we call a narcissist. And narcissists, basically, the world revolves around them. It's whatever's going on, it's how it affects them. Whatever's in your life, it's, it's about them. If you call up and say, I've got a problem, I need to borrow $10, and they'll say, well, I've got a bigger problem, I need to borrow $20 from you. And so, you know those type people. You know who I'm talking about in your life. They're those people. They're there. But do you trust them? That's your decision. I'm just giving you some guidelines. If you want to trust them, that's okay. Well, another characteristic. First of all, first characteristic, they recognize their own errors and they take responsibility for them. Second characteristics, they will tell you things that you don't want to hear. Not necessarily just all the bad news in the world, they'll tell you something that you may be doing that you don't even know about. And they will tell you the difficult things that other people will not even tell you about. Something you may be doing, something you may be not doing that you should be doing. They will, they will bring them up to you. They don't have to be in the most harsh manner <clears throat> when they bring them up to you. They can actually say, I wish you would do this, or I wish you would do that. Things would be better if you would. They don't have to be accusatory, and they don't have to put you down, but they will tell you things that you'd rather not hear. They'll tell you about things that are your negatives in addition to your positives. Now, you know there are people out there that are all the time talking about how great you are and how you can do this, how you can do that, and how wonderful you are and you're the greatest thing that ever has come along and you got to watch out. They want something, usually, for that. You may be that great, but most people have a few flaws here and there. You don't want somebody just in there to please you. It's not about how great you are. It's about how great you are and you can get better. That's what we're talking about. You can trust that person because they're not afraid to tell you the negatives, and they will shower upon you the positives. So that's, that's a second thing. So we've got people that recognize their own errors. Number two thing is they tell you the things that you really don't want to hear. And then they are people that will put their, put their money, their time, their their efforts, they'll bet on you. They'll say, I think you can do this. And they will say, you have a, a leadership quality or you have a dream and I want to be a part of this. I want to get into this. I want to put some time in, some money in, what, what, whatever the assets are. I want to put some effort in to helping you achieve this dream or helping you become the leader because we need leaders like you. 
there are people that are willing to invest in you, whether it's money, time, effort, uh, whatever it is. So they're, they want to help you come up with this idea, goal, this uh, program to help other people or to help the city, county, nation. They want to help you help others. So there we've got it. Three things. Now we can talk about people that come in and they're so sincere and they're just, you know, they grab you with their sincerity. But sincerity is really not a test of, you know, whether or not they're trustworthy. They may be sincere. You know, I know a lot of people that are sincere. They're sincerely wrong about a lot of things, but they're sincere. And so that's not a, tre uh, it's not a, it's not a test of the truth. Sincerity is sincerity. Intention, what about the well-intended? Well, well-intended but they don't follow through. Well intention or good intentions is not the same as what people actually do. And really, when you take all of these factors in, into account, trust is a pattern of behavior. Saying what you're going to do, no, being sincere and in, having intention, yet carrying through carrying through, keeping your word. Trust is a test of the truth. Now, we're talking about people living up, earning your trust. Now, the noose is going to get a little tighter. What about you earning their trust? How are you? Are you one that lives up to your word? Do you recognize your own errors? Do you tell people the things, the tough things that they may not want to hear? Or do you just avoid those conversations? And if you see somebody out there working on a project that you really think is a good project, are you willing to get in there and help them? Are you willing to assist them in bringing this ideal, this project, this this leadership, are you willing to help them? So let's see, are you trustworthy? Do you live up to your word? Because we're expecting everybody else to do it and we're assuming you will do it, but I'm just asking you to look at it. Just look at it very carefully. Are you one of these people that is trustworthy? Do you have all of these characteristics? You, you mean the best thing when, you, when somebody asks you, will you serve on this committee or will you help decorate this or will you help do this? And you have the best of intentions. You say, oh, sure, sure, I'll help you. But then the time comes, do you actually help? Do you actually carry through? Sometimes it's tough to carry through. Things get busy, you get busy. But if you carry through with your word and you're trustworthy, people will know to trust you. They'll know in the past you've carried through with what you said you would do, and they'll know, okay, we trusted him on this project, we'll do another, a little bit bigger, and we'll do bigger, and your trust will build. Remember, trust builds slowly and can be taken down rapidly. Keep the trust. I'm George Flynn. You've been watching In-Depth TV.